Welcome back to another week in my life on my channel. This week we are in Tampa, Florida, my home. I'm here with my family, here for 4th of July. I have a doctor's appointment, all the things. And I'm just so happy to be here. I was reunited with Finley last night. It was the best. I hope you guys didn't miss me too much. I know I took a bit of a hiatus from vlogging. Hopefully you guys still had a lot of content to watch because I did a two week series of uploading every day onto YouTube um, called Summer in the City where I try new things in New York City every single day and I had so much fun. But after that I was like, I need a little bit of a break. Um, so while we were gone, I first went to Amelia Island to, and that was a surprise because Ryan and I flew down, our friends were getting engaged and um, the fiance now, he's one of our dear friends and he planned where like 50 of us from college flew down, drove down, whatever it may be to surprise him and his now fiance um, when they like for like a little surprise engagement party in, on Amelia Island. So that was really, really fun. That was just like a quick trip. And then from there I went back to New York for a few quick days and then and went to Illinois for a family reunion, um, as I do every every single year, Southern Illinois, it's the best. And we flew from Illinois to Tampa last night. So I'm just kind of on my, my world tour here, and no, I'm kidding. But yeah, I'm seriously so happy to be here. You guys know how much I love coming home, and I'm so thankful that I get to come home when I do, because it just makes me so happy. Anyways, it's Sunday morning. And we're vlogging. I didn't vlog last time I was in Florida and you guys were not happy with me. And it made me happy though, because I was like, oh, I don't know if people like want to see my Florida life. Like, I don't know if people like love my New York City content. And a lot of you guys were like, no, I like, it's so nostalgic for me. Cause if you guys watched me in high school, obviously this is where I was. This is, this is the bedroom. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take you guys along. I can't promise it's gonna be super exciting. It's just a lot of um, chilling with my family, relaxing, doing some fun things. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try and vlog as best I can, but. I'm about to head to the airport because we have a special visitor. <laughs> Ryan is coming for the week and I'm so happy for him to be here. I love when he comes down. He loves it here and my family loves him and him and my brother are so close, obviously. They'll just go fishing together. It's a very sweet thing. So I am so excited to see him because I haven't seen him in a little bit because I was in Illinois. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get him from the airport. I'm already dressed in my swimsuit for the day and I'm obsessed with this hat. I literally cannot stop wearing this hat. It's from Boys Lie. I got it off Revolve. I'll link it below. I got it because it's green, but I really do like love the shape. A lot of my guy friends think it's a John Deere hat, which I could see, but then they quickly realize it's not when it says Boys Lie. So maybe that's why they did it. Like, let's make the boys think it's John Deere, and then it's like, <laughs> Boys Lie. <laughs> but not all Boys Lie, okay? But anyway. I'm so excited to see Ryan, clearly. I'm so excited for this week. I'm so thankful to be here. It's a beautiful sunny day. I can't wait to read and just maybe get on the Peloton. We'll see. Go for hot girl walks the whole nine yards. So I'm wearing this swimsuit today. I think it's from the brand Lovers and Friends from Revolve. I will also link it below. Jean shorts are from Citizens of Humanity. I like the shape. I'm still on the hunt for the best jean shorts. If you guys have a favorite for curvier gals, let me know down below. And uh, yeah. I'm gonna throw over top this button down from Zara. Button downs have been like my go-to beach cover up. Also the reason I already have a swimsuit on is because Ryan's gonna land and then we're gonna just head back here. And a ton of my friends from high school are in town for the weekend. So um, I invited them all, we're just gonna hang out back. Um, and one of which is Ryan's current roommate, he's in town as well. And another one of the guys I think is also gonna live with Ryan this fall, so. Um, yeah, I love it. And then Caitlin's coming. <laughs> My bestie for the bestie. So she's here this weekend and I'm so excited to see her. Um, so yeah, we're just having a little day out back. Freddie may take us on the boat, we'll see. And then tonight, um, we're going to a baseball game because they're doing like fireworks. So I'll tell you guys more about that later. But yeah, sorry, I feel like I just rambled a lot, but it's been a minute since we've chatted and I've missed you guys and I'm just so refreshed and revitalized to vlog. Welcome to summer in the in the TPA. <laughs> I stepped outside and said no to the button down. It is so hot outside, so I switched to this tank from Revolve, which I love. Just a you know, classic white tank, blue jean shorts. My hair, I'm just not worrying about because I'm just gonna get wet. Also, I have my Louis Vuitton Speedy Bag here. This was like my first 
designer bag ever that I bought used. Um, and it's kind of a vibe. It fits a lot. So, and of course my Javianas because these are the best. Oh my gosh, you guys already know how happy I am. All right, we're in my happy place. The real ones know. This car just still smells the same. It feels the same. It's just so perfect. Gotta get some music going. Ugh, what kind of music am I feeling? Am I feeling country? Am I feeling SoundCloud remixes for nostalgia? Like, what am I feeling? Oh my God, that's, it's the worst feeling ever when you just don't know what type of music to play, you know? Like, I really don't know what type of music I want right now. Levitating by Dua Lipa just stood out to me. All right, let's go get Ryan. I had a little time on my way, so I grabbed Ryan and I some juices from our favorite juice spot. I know he's gonna be super, super excited. And I also took a ginger shot there, so that was a good start to the day. lovely day by the pool everyone just left and I showered and we're just I didn't end up getting my hair wet I just slicked it back and we need to fix it we're headed to a Threshers game it's the Clearwater Threshers they're a single A baseball team but they have like a big um, 4th of July fireworks thing tonight and we thought it'd be fun to go we used to go as kids and they have like an all-you-can-eat buffet that we bought tickets for so should be fun. Um, I used to like love going there when I was in middle school and stuff with my friends. So this is my outfit for the Threshers game. I'm wearing this meow top that I can't get enough of. And then these shorts are Citizens of Humanity, the same ones I was wearing earlier. And then my Air Force Ones. And my bag is from by far. Let's go to the baseball game. Say hi to my vlog. I said Freddy right Good morning guys, it's Monday morning and I've had a lovely morning to myself. I think I hear something. Come in, come in. <laughs> it's funny. He saw I was vlogging. He wanted to come say hi. Yes, these are my pink balls. Okay guys, so you all know I'm obsessed with trying different facial tools. This is the Skinny Confidential, literally, pink balls. I use this every morning at my grandparents' house at our family reunion, and my whole family was like, what are you doing with your face? It looks a little suggestive, you know? But I am loving it. Starting my day, I just put on some Ella Lou's beauty oil, and we just go to town. Oh my god, the way Finley is just sitting right here. He has not left my side since I got here. I think he's like, you keep coming and going. I'm sorry, baby. But yeah, the boys went golfing this morning at 7 a.m. 
so it was kind of nice it's um i just woke up and i my dad walked over and we talked for about an hour and had some coffee and what else did i do i ran to run some errands and yeah nothing really crazy going on over here um i'm about to shower i think and i might try and um crimp like wave my hair i have a beach waver here and i keep forgetting or i don't know yeah i think it's the beach waver and i feel like my hair is long enough now to try it so i want to like see what that looks like um last night was really really fun i accidentally got a little lit um i wasn't even drinking there and then i was like you know what let's do it because <laughs> everyone else is drinking so i and my dad was driving us so i got um a couple green tea shots and that's been my new thing i just get a green tea shot or not a green like a shot and then i order a soda water i think i said this on the podcast gals on the go um because i drink so slow and then i just it feels like a waste for me <laughs> so you know do this at your own risk but i found it's fun to just kind of take a shot and get a soda water and then i sip on that put a little lime on it um and i'm feeling pretty good but everyone's different so that was fun and it was, the fireworks were really cool it's very romantic because ryan was there too um so yeah, i'm a little sleepy if you guys can't tell <laughs> but yeah that's kind of the lay of the land um today i think we're gonna do a little grill out um ryan's gonna grill and my mom and i are gonna like prepare everything i've been literally craving cowboy caviar because my grandma made it last week and I, it's all over my tiktok page right now i don't even know why so we're making uh cowboy caviar which if you guys don't know what it is i will show you when we're making it because it's so so good it's basically like a dip but it's almost like a pico like there's just like corn beans chickpeas maybe i don't know tomatoes like there's just a ton of stuff and you just dip chips in it and it's so good and it feels kind of nutritious because there's just so much goodness in it it's delicious but yeah i also just wanted to pop on here since i wasn't really vlogging when the roe v wade decision came out about being overturned and i want you guys to know like we talked about it on gals on the go and i've posted a lot about it on my socials but i'm pro-choice and that was a terrible day terrible news to get and i i am so sorry to all of you that might be affected by this and you know being a woman it's not a fun feeling to be in this country right now and know that your rights could be taken away from you um especially like being from florida and going to school in georgia where those states are deciding on what they're gonna do so that's unsettling um but obviously i know there's people that are way less privileged than me than that are going to be even more affected by this um so i did want to shout out um a fundraiser that i have on my instagram right now it's for planned parenthood brooke started it and um for a while planned parenthood was matching any donation however i think that's over now but we have a goal of a hundred thousand and i think as I'm recording this, there's about 83,000. So thank you guys all so much for donating. That's seriously so special. And this is going to Planned Parenthood. So I wanted to um, bring attention to that um, because I know I wasn't vlogging, but it still is something that I wanted to talk about. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna keep rolling my face for a little bit here and listen to some music and hop in the shower. Um, I'd like to lay outside today and read my book. I'm reading Hotel Nantucket um, by Ellen Hildebrand. It's her new book that just came out and I'm, as you guys know, I'm like obsessing over her books right now because I just love the way they're written. And this one's really, really good. I'm about 70% through. So yeah, I'm gonna read that and hang out with my family. I'm just so happy to like be with my family and my puppy. Hopefully we'll go on the boat a little. But yeah, that's the day. And I know, I feel like this vlog is a lot of me talking to you guys, but I feel like it's just been so long that I've connected. And um, so yeah, I hope that's okay. But hi guys. I literally can't with you. I can't get anything done. Hi, Bubba. All right, so I just waved my hair. It's actually called the mermaid hair um, waver. I'll show you guys in a second. I got it because Delaney had it in college and it, always looks so good on her when she does it i'm pretty happy with it um i don't know we'll see 
it was super easy it took me like seven minutes to do this and then i just put in refi brow gel and some glow screen of course because the sun is very powerful <laughs> and i'm kind of digging this little look i got going on i kind of want to take a pic um this swimsuit is from none other than monday swimwear you guys know i'm obsessed with monday swimwear i can't get enough of them I love this blue sparkly suit. I will link it below. I actually got it on Revolve because they have Monday Swimwear on Revolve now, which is huge. They don't have all the bathing suits, but they have a lot of them. So I was really happy about that. Just put in some small little hoops, got some fun bracelets on. And then these pants are from Motel Rocks. Um, I love them. They're like their parachute pants. So I got them in white and I kind of like the look of them just out, but also like for walking purposes and stuff, you can tie and it zips up too. But... <laughs> I'm obsessed. I'm into this look. I also have this pair of sunglasses from I Buy Direct. And I mean, they're obviously so extra. They're like pit vipers, basically. Like I'm a little boy going to baseball practice. But if Kim Kardashian wears them, I will wear them. And I'm not mad about this whole moment. I think it's pretty cool. I wanted to show you guys. This is the waiver that I used on my hair. It's mermaid hair beach waiver. And you just put your hair in between and just do like one, two, or like go down basically a strand of hair. A pretty good strand because it's pretty thick. Okay guys, so here is our family cookbook. We have a ton of recipes in here from our family that we've made at the reunion and stuff like that. Like there's Freddie at her little talent show we used to do at our reunions. Um, oh my gosh, there's me. That was so long ago, that's so crazy. Um, oh, this casserole is so fire. Anyways, um, I, oh, I'm gonna find the cowboy caviar. Here are all the ingredients. Let's get started. Got all kinds of things in there. We've got black beans, black eyed peas, corn. We're just adding things in. Lots of things are happening, then we're gonna mix it all together. Ryan's having fun in the pool by himself because I'm still making the cowboy caviar. Things are happening. All right, we're gonna mix everything together now. We added the vinegar and the Italian seasoning and the olive oil. Oh my gosh, this smells amazing. The cilantro is just giving me life. Okay, so did you have lunch and then, I did. I just had lunch. And then just later on, we'll just have a yeah. cowboy dinner. caviar. Okay. Mm. Finley in his little dog bed in the pool. Yay, Finley! because there were some intense thunder noises and lightning. Gotta stay safe, um, but it's kind of perfect. It's just about dinner time, so we're gonna start grilling and preparing and all that. There's just nothing better than coming in after being out in the sun all day and then it starts raining, so I'm kind of excited. I feel fulfilled. I don't feel like our sunny day was ruined, so it's like 6.45. Finley is pooped. We've got our grill master out here. Ooh, it's smoky. I brought two more buns. How's it looking in here? Woo! It's raining, but we're undercover, so we're okay. It's so peaceful. Here he goes. Wow. Very nice, very good. Yum. Got a whole oh, spread. Freddie's taking us for a little sunset boat ride. Just finished eating dinner. It's so lovely out. It just finished raining. What a beautiful evening. Wow, that is stunning. <laughs> Thank you. 
from my decaf coffee and my pink balls. <laughs> Ryan's about to egg flip. It's a Tuesday, so it's just like a standard egg flip. It's not a crazy egg flip, like Fridays. He's setting up the Snapchat. So you're just filming the standard flip? I'm just filming a standard flip. Why not? Good morning. Oh. Oof. Uh-oh. Trouble in paradise. It's a new pan, new environment. Of course. Altitude's different. <laughs> Altitude's different. <laughs> there might be some wind in here. <laughs> some wind. Hey. <laughs> His flip didn't go too well. That's okay. It's edible. Good job. This is seriously my favorite breakfast recently. Scrambled eggs with avocado, salt and pepper. Oh, a little cantaloupe. We're loving it. Just took a shower, put on my exercise dress for underwear voices because it's just so easy. I love this candle I have here. I got it at Home Goods, I want to say. Yeah, Home Goods. And it literally smells like Capri Blue Volcano Candle, but it was like $10 when I got it and it's lasted for so long, like over a year. It's amazing. And then I also had gotten this candle, Rosewood and Vanilla, or maybe is it Target? It's either Target or Home Goods. No, I think this is Home Goods. And this one literally smells like a bougie rose candle, so love those. Um, I'm about to sit down and do some work. Ryan and Freddie went fishing, which I'm so happy. Ryan has off today, it's Tuesday, but I have a lot of um, emails and stuff to do, so I was like, you guys go fishing, I'll get this done. And then when they get back, we will do something. So, yeah, that is what's going on. I have the house to myself right now. Finley's getting groomed, so I'll go pick him up in a little bit. This is my literal favorite playlist ever to do work to. It's just like, chill if you study beats, as it says. It's like no words, because sometimes when I'm reading emails and I'm hearing words, I get distracted, so this is perfect. We're headed to the beach! Let's go. Packing up, put some cowboy caviar in there. I love it, yum. I'm gonna bring some chips. Oh, wait, 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 don't close <laughs> To Put two little clementines in there. Boop, boop, cute. Ryan insisted on getting an ice cream sandwich for the beach. Hi guys, I forget if I, I kinda, yeah I started vlogging this morning. It's Tuesday and Ryan got most of the day off for work. We're gonna go to the beach. He and Freddie went fishing this morning a little bit and now we just packed a little cooler and we're gonna go to the beach for a couple hours, probably not super long, it's pretty hot out. So yeah, I'm wearing none other than Monday swimwear. It's the same bathing suit I was wearing yesterday in a different color and fabric. This hat, I'm just wearing, oh my god, he already got it. But yeah, all you need to know is we're going to the beach, we're going to Honeymoon Island, one of my favorite beaches. Ryan's literally giddy right now because he just got an ice cream sandwich. Oh, he must be putting it in the trunk. What'd you get, what'd you get? Got an ice cream cookie sandwich. Ice cream cookie sandwich, baby. I love this for you. Anyways, yeah, it should be a nice day by the beach. We're bringing some beach chairs, which is just, I'm realizing as I'm getting older, the elite way to go to the beach is to bring some chairs. It's just so much more comfortable, and you don't get all sandy, your towel stays nice and dry, it's great. Go swim a little bit, you know, all the things. I hope this this person sees the turtle. I literally just like looked at that car and was like, do not run over this cute turtle. We just got back, Finley got groomed. Finley, you look so good. Uh, Finley, show up. Oh, he's a little shy. Just chilling by the pool now. Ryan's drinking a green juice. Yup. Yep. Decided to hop on the boat and do a little fishing with the boys. Guys, I 
just finished another book. I finished Hotel Nantucket. It's by Ellen Hildebrand. So good. I've read two of her books back to back now. Um, so good. I really enjoyed it. So I think now I'm going to read this book called Every Summer After. I'm excited. I think I'm going to read that next. I really want to read Verity by Colleen Hoover, but I want to read summer books in the summer, obviously. So I feel like I should save Verity for like fall winter vibes so i'm gonna try and keep reading but reading outside is just so much better like i don't know why i just love it but i don't have wi-fi out here so i can't get the next book um and no we have not caught anything yet but it's lovely out the boys are back there vibing vibing back now and the sunset is stunning outside it's been such a lovely, fulfilling day. Very grateful for times like this. And when Ryan's off of work. What's up? Hello. <laughs> and there's Finley and his little, he always likes to hang out in our neighbor's yard. I think he thinks it's our yard. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Crazy. Good morning guys, it is Wednesday morning and I was doing all the promotions for Gals on the Go. We just released an episode with Kat, our amazing makeup artist. It was such a good episode. Go listen for all the product directs and just everything in between being a makeup artist in New York. Anyways, my camera's about to die, but I'm in my car because there is no privacy in this household. I'm sure with you guys too when you're home, it's not as much privacy and I have therapy and I'm so excited. I've been waiting to do this, you guys know, for weeks. She's been so booked and our schedules weren't lining up and I finally have therapy right now. So I'm literally in my car for privacy because like, Everyone's here, um, so I'll see you guys after. It's a little later now. I have some whitening strips on. I use these Lumino whitening strips. Um, therapy was good. Rock on or whatever. All right, guys, the time has finally come. We're doing my little no makeup make. Well, it's not makeup. I'm just doing, you know, my super goop glow screen and my refi brow gel. It's about five o'clock now. Ryan just finished working and Freddie just got back from his internship and it's time that I go golfing with the boys. Have I ever been golfing? No, never been golfing. <laughs> um, I've done top golf, I've done putt putt and I'd like to consider myself semi-athletic but when it comes to like baseball and like golf, like swinging something, like not just using my hands like for football and stuff like that, it's definitely like a little bit more challenging to me, um, but I, I wanna be that girl that goes golfing. I wanted to try it, you guys know in the podcast I've talked about it, like I wanna try tennis and like golf. I just think it's a really cool sport. Be outside, it's a fun way to bond with people and all like my dad, my brother, my Brian, um, all like to golf and I think that'd be fun. I wouldn't do it all the time, but so we're just gonna do a little trial run. <laughs> I'm excited. We're not golfing 18 holes. We're gonna walk the course and we're gonna do like no more than nine. Like honestly, I feel like we'll just play a few holes. That's my goal. I don't think my brother has really lofty goals. I don't think we're gonna get that far, but we're gonna walk a few. I sound like I know what I'm saying. I don't, this is just what they said. <laughs> and yeah, I'm really excited. I just put my hair up. I literally am obsessed with this dress. It's from Veronica Beard and they said I could wear this to golf. It's perfect. It's like a little tennis dress, but I feel like it works for golf too. It's Veronica Beard and Letoile Sport. They collaborated and I'm obsessed with this. And I'm gonna wear sneakers. I don't have golf shoes, obviously. I was scrounging around, or what's the word? Scouring, scouring my mom's closet to see if she had a visor. Cause I just really wanted to play into it. She does not, so that's okay. But, um, I'm excited. All right, here is the fit. <laughs> All I have are my Air Forces, so that's what we're gonna do. All right, we're headed to the golf course, guys. Yeah, yeah. Hype up, baby. All right, we're at the first. Yeah, I threw some fireball in there just in case. We were feeling it later. Um, apparently this is the men's tee off. Is this, is that a real thing? And the woman's tea is up there. So I'll just watch them now. I, I'm so confused. I've never even stood on a golf course like this. Yaga. 
All right, I just hit my first one. Didn't hit the actual ball the first few swings, swings, but that's okay. Um, they're being very nice and patient and encouraging. <laughs> oh! Wow. It took so long just to do one hole. How do people do 18 holes? All right, golfing was so much fun. Last minute decision. We showered, ate dinner, and we're now we're going to see Elvis. Woo! I'm so excited. Um, I'm wearing my cowgirl set. And I really hope it didn't start yet because I need to see every moment of this movie. <laughs> we made it. I'm so excited. Thursday and I spent the morning reading and hanging out with Finley. Ryan's working hard today. Um, I was reading, I don't always read in the morning, but I try to when I can because it's so nice with coffee and it calms me down. So I'm about to go to the gynecologist and if you guys remember last summer, I just don't enjoy it. I mean, I don't really know who does. I just I just get really anxious. I feel like, I don't know. I, I just, I mean, I know no one enjoys it, but I just, I really am not a doctor girly. I don't mind going to the dentist. I used to not even like that, but I'm just not thrilled about it. But I know I just reframe my brain and, say, and just say, you know, it's making sure I'm healthy. And then I just tell myself I'm healthy. I'm happy. I'm healthy. I'm happy. Like I'm okay. I'm okay. So yeah, it's just, you know, the good old pap, you know, it's just not fun, but it's something you have to do and I'm thankful that I can do it and that I'm healthy, I'm healthy, I'm healthy. So we're gonna go do that now. Good morning. That is just so uncomfortable. Like, ah, it wasn't that bad. It took like probably like 45 sec seconds of uncomfortableness and I, she literally was just like, so what do you do up in New York? And I'm like, I have a YouTube channel, podcast. Ah, it's got cows on the go and this is my, my friend Brooke. And, oh my God, I was just like, like whenever I go to the doctor, if I get like, you know, a shot or blood taken or whatever, maybe I'm just like, ah, cause I cannot think about it. So hi, let's see just doing that. I can't have it be silent. Oh my God, I like still feel it. It's so uncomfy. Sorry, that's probably not helping you guys, but it's done and I'm happy and it's done. So that's what's important. However, it's now one o'clock. I wasn't planning on being here for an hour and a half, but they're running a little behind, which I totally understand. But yeah, so the weather's sunny. It's my last day here. And yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna go back. I might go for a bike ride with my mom. I don't really know. I wanna be in a bathing suit too. We'll see. We're out. Side. Gonna spend some fun in the sun with Finley. Go get it, go get it! It's a beautiful day. It's got a little breeze to it. Ryan's over there working. Hee hee. <laughs> and that's that on that. I have barely vlogged today, which is super unlike me. This is why I don't always vlog when I come home because I just like to be outside, get that vitamin D when I'm here. Um, so I just, my dad had off work today, which was really nice. And then when my when Freddie got home from his internship and my mom was done with all of her stuff, we hung out by the pool together, which was really, really nice. And then Ryan came out when he was done working and it was just like a good vibe. Um, so we were just out in the sun all day, so I just took that post pool sun shower and I feel amazing And my mom's making pasta and broccoli tonight for dinner, which is the best and I just kind of plan to Hang out with my fam and everything in Finley because we leave Tomorrow morning back to New York and this weekend. I'm doing some exciting stuff so stay tuned for my next vlog because I'm making a little bit of an announcement about my apartment and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, doing some things this weekend, so I'll be vlogging that. 
And then next Monday or next Tuesday, we head to Montauk for two weeks with Katie and Brooke. So I'm so excited. We got an Airbnb like house over there, which I'm so excited. Um, I'm so excited. So yeah, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here so I can just get it up and ready so you guys can watch this this Sunday. I love you guys so much. I hope this vlog was some sort of entertaining. Um, I really just enjoy being with my family when I'm home and just, I know it wasn't like my typical Tampa cause last time I was here in June, cause I was here like last month. I did like the Tampa stuff. I went to the International Mall and all that. So I'm sorry you didn't get that content, but I promise there will always be more. I always come back. Um, but yeah, I love you guys so much. Hopefully this gave you just some sort of boost of serotonin. Follow me on Instagram at Danielle Carolyn if you don't already. And all the places, listen to my podcast, Gals on the Go, and I'll see you guys this Wednesday for my next video. Bye.